Okay, so now our sections, they are ready. They are already stained and they are in the xylene. Remember, I will never leave my sections to dry till I mount them. Otherwise, the tissues, they will be affected. So I will bring the last container of the xylene that my sections were in after the staining. And now they are ready for mounting. I will show you two different ways of mounting and it's all yours. But the main aim of the mounting is to avoid having air bubbles under the cover slip or between the cover slip and the slide. This will be very annoying and it will be um, uh, uh, intervening with the um, uh, sections when you look at the sections under the microscope. So, some people, they prefer to have we, we have two types of cover slips. They, these are the, 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 the different sizes. Now, depending on the sections that you have on the slides, sometimes you might need to use these bigger ones or smaller ones. Now, let me just use the bigger ones. One of the things that you need to take care of is make sure that when you take the cover slips, you have only one cover slip, not two. Okay, so just make sure. I will place the cover slip like this here and then just with the DBX mounting medium it's a xylene miscible medium so your sections they need to be in the xylene there is other types that's water soluble ones but usually in the histopath lab we prefer the xylene miscible one it's um, the uh, it's uh, usually can can stay longer and can preserve the colors uh, much better than the water-based ones. Now, just with a glass rod, I would take one drop only into the middle of the cover slip. Only one drop. Now, remember, we don't use from the main bottle, just I bought aliquot here. Then, I will very fast take the slide while it's still wet with the xylene and just just I will flip it so that the tissue will be facing down and then just I will get it to touch the drop slowly and evenly okay once it touches it will spread okay see here so it will be spreading now sometimes you might have a little bit of air bubbles but at the edges so with the edge of um, uh, forcep or um, glass rod i will just squeeze for these air bubbles to go out at this tip here before the um, the dbx dries i make sure no air bubbles at the middle at the tissue then i would leave the slide to dry and allow the xylene to evaporate standing like this then the second method i would bring my slide with the xylene also still wet i would place the drop of the dbx at the middle on the top of the sections And this time I will use these ones. So also I make sure that it's only one cover slip. And just I will bring the cover slip till it touches the edge of the drop. See here, it's touching. And then I will lower it slowly. And then it will allow also this DBX to spread all over the tissue. See here. Okay, also I would allow this one to dry on a paper towel. Now, I will just repeat this again, but also with the larger size cover slip. So, this is a larger tissue. Okay, and then I would place it here. The drop again, you need to act fast so that the sections won't start to dry one drop only 
I will take one section, one, one sorry, one cover slip. Only you make sure that you are taking one cover slip. Let's say you forgot at certain time and you discover that you took two cover slips. What would you do? So just I would put my slides in xylene for maybe one or two nights and then, then this will ease the dbx from them the same way and then just it will spread slowly okay so here we go okay again i will put it to dry here yeah so this is for the mounting it should be um, a technique that you need to practice with your hands but usually this is the way how we do the mounting without having air bubbles thank you okay yes so uh, meanwhile while these sections they will be ready i would just leave them in the uh, fume hood because you know the smell of the xylene is really annoying and also is not good to be in the lab so just once these they are done I would do the proper labeling and the cleaning of the slide so and also for the storage so here we got these we use these special containers for storage for each of the slides now remember that you will have cross sections with the cross sections you need to do the labeling now you can do the labeling either with the pencil or the marker to, to indicate what's the type of the tissue the organ and whether it's a cross section or maybe longitudinal section or depending what's the tissue the, that you are using okay so this is very important for the storage later on and when you return back to the section you it will be easy for you to re-identify it again